Hi, my name is Bob Recker. I work with sunlight utilization in cornfields. I've had several projects over the years. Uh, most recently, SARE has been very uh, helpful in uh, sponsoring some projects. I'd like to share with you today just a couple of the highlights from some of the work that we've done here, really around using the extra space in the cornfield to uh, generate uh, opportunity space for cover crops or water and, and soil uh, uh, embellishment and all of that. So we had a plot uh, near Parkersburg, Iowa, where we had a very rigorous uh, comparison test of 30 inch versus 60 inch versus 60 inch twin versus 90 inch corn with a cover crop uh, in between the row spacings. So the primary goal of this plot was to look at what the corn yield ramifications were. So we had um, highly variable corn yield, eight different uh, double blind uh, variety selections and uh, comparing the different performance in each of the row configurations with uh, the baseline, which is in the blue lines in the, in the chart here. So uh, highly variable, it was a dry year. This field uh, for the grower averaged 201 bushels. In a normal year, that would have been 230, 240 bushel corn. So everything was depressed by the, uh, by the lack of moisture and we expected that impacted our, our uh, plot also. The opportunity space that's really the focus of this work is the space between the corn rows, which will produce a much more vigorous cover crop or alternate uh, purpose crops such as grazing, maybe even a specialty crop, pollinators as a choice, and all of that. So what we're saying is that if you have the wide row spacing, you really end up opening up a sunlight corridor, a sunlight portal, into the soil to, to grow crops that can serve a secondary purpose in addition to the corn crop. So if you took a 40 acre field and said, how many acres are growing corn? If it's 30 inch corn, it's 30 inch corn because there's effectively no sunlight hitting the ground through most of the season. If you move that out to 60 inch corn, you have about half the ground that is available for sunlight harvest through a cover crop or secondary crop. If you go to 60 inch twins, the corn yield gets better as you saw in the previous graphic, but the space available for the cover crop actually goes down slightly because of the wider twin rows. Interestingly, and kind of a uh, going off the deep end maybe, but really interesting is a 90 inch twin where you end up with really wide spacing, uh, a nice uh, 80 inch wide space between the twin rows that could really be utilized nicely for a secondary crop, cover crop or whatever, and still do uh, a reasonable amount of corn. There is a large yield drag, as you saw in the other uh, graphic. So the bottom line is the wide row corn really enables you to do something between the rows. And it's important that you will need to do something between the rows because without a cover crop or something, you will have weeds. It's just that simple. If you're going to do this, it is worth making a effort to look at several different varieties, work with your local sources, find what works for you. And uh, one of the learnings out of this is as the 30 inch yield went up and down, pretty much the 60 and 60 inch twins followed that. So uh, we thought there might be a radical difference in hybrid performance, we haven't found that in the eight that we had here. And so essentially here, the opportunity space as an opportunity to do something more interesting and more beneficial, maybe cost avoidance, maybe a secondary crop, secondary benefit in your cornfield is very much worth looking at.